administration sets, and manual priming. Moog has a variety of administration sets available. Only Moog's Curlin administration sets can be used with Moog's Curlin infusion pumps. The sets can accommodate IV bags, syringes, or a medication reservoir. Any size IV bag can be used with the administration set. For reference, find the product number, set description, and fill volume of the set on the package. The lot number and expiration date can be found at the end of the front of the package for reference. Refer to included directions for use for further instructions for the specific set you are using, including priming instructions for filtered sets. When removing the set from the package, always inspect the packaging and the administration set for any damages before use. The slide clamp should be in the open position and the spike cover and tubing cap should be in place. Whether priming manually or on the pump, it's best to remove the breakaway tab of the integral flow stop prior to connecting to the IV container. When the tab is properly removed, the free flow protection will be engaged, preventing unregulated gravity flow. To properly remove the tab, twist it until it releases. When priming, the vented lure cap can remain in place to help prevent contamination. To prime manually, ensure that the slide clamp is open. Squeeze the integral flow stop clip to allow fluid to flow through the tubing. Release the flow stop when the set is fully primed. Should the IV bag need to be purged of air, invert the bag prior to priming. Gently squeeze the bag to facilitate the flow as the flow stop is pressed. The air will rise to the top of the bag and be purged from the set when primed. When priming an administration set with a filter, follow the instructions for proper priming on the directions for use included in the package. It's important that the filter's membrane be properly and thoroughly wetted. Therefore, proper filling is imperative. If a filtered set is being used with an integrated inline air eliminating filter, hold the filter in an upright position while looking at the front of the filter. As the fluid fills the filter, slowly tilt the top of the filter from side to side up to 90 degrees. Tap the filter housing to release air bubbles. Return the filter to an upright position and continue priming until air has been removed from the ribbed section of the filter and the full length of the tubing. Note, it is normal to see air on the back slash flat side of the filter and in the top triangular portion of the filter. Ensure that air has been removed and fluid has reached the end of the tubing. Release the flow stop and immediately close the slide clamp. Once the slide clamp is closed, inspect the full length of the tubing again to ensure there is no air present. All filters on the Curlin administration sets are air eliminating. Therefore, do not cover the filter vent with tape as this is where the air needs to escape. 